Randy, thank you. Well, we continue our team coverage further south in Surfside. That's where we find Fox 26's Abigail Dye. So Abigail, how are conditions there right now? Well, Rashi, it feels like we're getting a few sprinkles, like Randy was saying, um, up further north of us. The rain is just kind of on and off. There was a little bit of rain about an hour ago, and now, like I said, just a few sprinkles. I feel like most of the moisture is coming from the ocean right behind me here. As you can see, um, just like Randy was saying, the wind is wild out here. We're feeling some of those effects of the very windy uh, potential tropical cyclone, like Ramisha was talking about, and that wind and really um, impacts our ocean here. I'm told that most of this area is usually beach. It might be hard to see because it's so dark, but the waves are coming right up to the rocks here. It's, oh, we just got sprayed. So that's what I'm talking about. The ocean is really choppy, really rough. I know Randy spoke to a lot of surfers. We didn't see a lot of surfers out here today. Um, that red flag means that the water and the beaches are closed to the public. And, uh, you know, the real threat here as you know the rain starts to come down on us now is flooding potential flooding for the street um, for the streets uh, further inland and out here next to the ocean and the mayor down here says that they'll be monitoring those flooding conditions and just the windy stormy conditions for the rest of the night we've got this uh, tropical storm coming in and it's bringing a, a real high tide and they're predicting a lot of rain and the bad thing with us is that uh, living on an island the rain has no place to go so it just starts flooding all the streets uh, this is the first time in a long time that we've actually had to close our beaches down because the water was so bad and it wasn't safe for people to be out there when do i say go well Action. As you can see, just in the past, like, 90 seconds, the conditions have worsened tremendously. I feel like I'm getting blown away. I ran into a few friends out here who are not afraid to brave the storm. I mean, how would you describe what's going on around you right now? It's getting a little yeah. sporty out it's, here. It's one getting word, western. One word. Wind. It's getting Wind. western out here, I'll tell you yeah, that. It's yeah. getting western. And so, do y'all live around here? Do you deal with these conditions a lot? Right yeah. over there. We live a couple houses down. All right, and so being so close to the beach, I mean, do you ever get caught up in these storms? Do you have damage to your home? Uh, most of the times we do. We've had a lot of hail coming through the past couple of months, and we've had to replace the roof a couple of times. Yeah. Right now, I'm just worried about the flooding and my car being under the house. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. It's just a little scary with the tide and whatnot. Yeah, it's definitely getting kind of rough out here. Um, do you guys expect to have to take any extra precautions tonight? Not necessarily. I think I think right. we'll be all right. Hide your We're hoping. Hide your <laughs> well, thanks so much, guys. We'll send it back to y'all in the studio, and we'll come back to you with an update in just about half an hour with how it's going.